painting a chair, and each strand has to be laced individually, just like a shoe. You go front to back first, side to side, front to back again, and then when you start the fourth one, you start to get a pattern. Looks like little squares. And then when you uh, get the little squares, you start doing diagonals. You do one diagonal and you have to go over and under each strand as you do the diagonals. In the second diagonal and then you have the pattern of the, the cane. And the final step is putting on the border. And when it's finished, it should have that pattern. library and got a book on painting and we start practicing. That was my first chair. Right there was my first chair. 1975. Your first one? The first chair I did. My practice chair. And you can't get rid of it. My wife won't let me get rid of it. <laughs> That's why I got so many chairs. She likes That's why me. you got so it's a big price out of that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's uh, yeah. nice. If you go to an antique store, and they're, they're $150, $200. Yeah. They're nice. All together, different pattern. It's all this different material. And they have a flat reed that they do on rocking chairs and porch chairs. And that's a herringbone weed there. And there's several different weaves you can do on that. And then, of course, there's machine cane. That comes pre-woven. But you can't put a machine cane on a hand cane chair. It has to have a groove. Is that just pressed in there with a beam? Right, well, you glue it in. Oh, okay, glue But you have to have a groove like that yeah. to use the machine paint. Otherwise, it has holes. You have to do all hand paint. 